the speedway, pedal to the flow. You know you can't see me. Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Prada, and Fendi. A lot of people mad cause they pockets on empty. Yeah, catch me on the speedway, pedal to the flow. You know you can't see me. Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Prada, and Fendi. A lot of people mad cause they pockets on empty. A lot of people mad cause they pockets on empty. I'm making all kind of moves, my pockets on swifty. Every time I pull up, they looking like he's shitty. Drip is on point, FBI is trying to get me. Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis. Take mine and I cook you for some lunch Cause nowadays niggas don't show no love Then they start hating when you get a little buzz On a 105, I'm rolling on my own Windows crack, AC on, smoking on some clones Medusa on my neck, money calling on my phone Push one button and the roof get gone On me, jumped in the bench from a hoopty Nigga do you, don't do me Cause I'm too smooth, never reckless Doing everything up my checklist Yeah, catch me on the speedway Pedal to the floor Yes, yes. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How you guys doing out there today? Whew, it's been a long day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying for myself. But welcome to Speak On It, Chop It Up Barbershop Talk. I'm your host, Annie B. You can catch me at uh, www.whatsyourfade.com if you want any merchandise, haircut appointments, anything like that. If you want to just look at my page, you want to see what I'm about, you know, just hit, hit, hit up, w, I mean, hit up at What's Your Fade on all social media platforms. What's going out there? What's going on out there today? We got a good show. We got a good show today. You know, I'm here with one of my good. I know y'all heard that song Speedway. It was really dope. You feel me? You can catch him on the Speedway. You feel me? That is my boy Billy the Goat. You feel what I'm saying? He out here ah, doing his thing. You know what I mean? You see him over here. How you feeling today with you, Billy? Oh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um on that note. I want to, before we start our show, I want to give a shout out and then make a couple of, um, you know, shout outs and get people to see some things that, you know, is happening right here in LA, Los Angeles, right here. Boop. I have my Milk It Media Skyline mug and it is really dope. I'm using it. Okay. I got my little stuff up in here. You know what I mean? So I can have my mug now on my show. So, um, I want to give a shout out to my homegirl, Erica King as well today, man, rest in peace to Nipsey. Her book came out, you know, and I want you guys to go to Erica King, um, collection at, um, Instagram and you can see everything that's going on with Erica King at this moment. Good, good deal. My homegirl got a damn billboard. If I tell you what, congratulations, Erica. Okay. She has a billboard right there on El Segundo and Crenshaw. You feel what I'm saying? Right there. Her book is published, everything like that. You can get it on Apple Store, everything. So congratulations, congratulations. Okay. Now let's get into this show. What's going on, Billy Man? Let's t- let's get into your life, man. What are you about? What do you do? You know what I mean? You feel um, me? You know, I am the hook man. The you know hook what I'm saying? Guy. Let me start with that first. I am the hook man. Mm-hmm. Um, I pull up, you know, um, hundred dollars an hour. Huh. You know, uh I got the uh I got some exclusive, you know. She, you wanted to know about the exclusive, so I got the exclusive. Yes, I do. So uh one day, you know, me and my boy, cool ass Cam, you know, the one behind the Mixing board back there, you know. Yeah, shout uh, out Cool Ass Cam, yes, Innovative sir, Culture. Yes, if y'all ever want to get on any type of podcast or get any type of little, you know what I'm saying, deals out there or something like that, shout out Cool Ass Cam, Innovative yes, Culture. Sir, yes. So uh, me and uh, Cam, we was uh, in a garage, you know, chilling. And I was like, man, I, 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 could, uh, I could put some fruit, mm-hmm. you know, like an orange or a lemon on top of, of, of a hookah right. and put some weed in it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? See what it do. So mm. one day we, you know, we did it. You know, we smoked it. It was like 45 minutes. Okay, that's good timing. You know, I said, damn, we got it. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So that, you know, that's a little exclusive that I'm about, I'm about to come with. You know, straight hey. hookah and out the, you know, limit and 
is a uh, I got the, uh, the custom made hookahs, you know. Yeah, I Hennessy seen some bottles, of those. I seen some Remy of those. bottles, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, pretty soon I'm about to give me a building. Oh yeah. So the hookah Let's pound it. Gonna Boop. give me a building, um, and you know that's what I'm pushing forward to because you know that right there, you know that's just gonna be a money hub, you right. know where. You know, people can come and enjoy themselves, but it's going to be different. It's going to be set up different. That's what people got to wait on. Yeah. You can I make I mean? a suggestion on that? Yeah. Oh, my God. Because I've been the type of person who always have these fly-ass ideas in my brain. You feel what I'm saying? I think I, I think I can make some bomb-ass, you know what I'm saying, creations. But I was thinking of a hookah lounge myself, mm-hmm. but I ain't going to do it. It was just an idea that I can give to somebody. But instead of having chairs inside your hookah lounge, you have tables, you go bean bags. You go full bean bags, right? And then from that point, you can still have hookah, mm-hmm. bean bags, sometimes poetry night to oh. where we can be on bean bags going right. up. Okay, you know? Look, look, What's look, up? Look, look, look. Let me. All right. Now, now you done you know, opened <laughs> up a can of worms. You know? But uh, basically, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, 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 was, I didn't think about bean bags, but what I did think about is floating chairs. Ooh, that's So dope. what I was going to do is get the roof reinforced mm. so that I can have floating chairs. Right. Um in a, in the center of the stage is going to be a st- I mean it's in the center of the, um, of the building is going to be a stage. Mm-hmm. I want to put a motor on it. It's okay, don't give us too it. much because you know it's people yeah. out here. Yeah, that's why I'm uh-huh. on, you know, but uh I don't. You got some shit you know, coming. I got some shit. He got you some shit coming, I'm y'all. Like, you know, Listen. You know, I got some shit. Okay. I'm just, look, wait. Yeah. First of all, hey, look, look, hey, look, tell hey, them look. where they can hey, find look. you at. Hey, look, but it's 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 still a whole lot going on with it. So right, to so where nobody that, can really yeah, bite you like that, that, that right? That, that, that ain't yeah. that's nothing compared to what I'm about to do. The exclusivity. You know? Okay, um, look. Uh, tell us where we can find you at too. So uh, you can find me at uh underscore d a b a n x the banks. You know, uh, or at hooked hookah. You know, um. Tap in, you know, because uh, this summer is going to be hot. He going to give you it's what gonna you want. He's going to be jumping. He going to give you what you want. Okay. Definitely, you know, uh, the hookah lounge is going to be marijuana friendly, uh, 420 oh, friendly. So, dope. you know, it's, it's going to be. Yeah, because, I mean, like, to be honest with you, I'm not that good at hookah. <laughs> okay. So, because I smoke marijuana. And I mean a lot of marijuana. Okay. Hey, shout out to my smokers. Team smoke good, eat good. All right. But, um. I smoke a lot of marijuana and everything like that. So it's like when I hit the hookah, I hit it like a blunt. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? You inhale. Yeah, so I'm inhaling this shit. You're supposed to hit it like a cigar. Right. It's, it's, it's for the flavor. It's for the taste. Exactly. You know I mean? Exactly. Um, but, you know, um, you know, pe- people do. You know, they, they, they hit they They, they hit, hit it like, like a blunt, that, you right. You know, because they want that... That head rush. You know, yeah, I don't like, like yeah. that. I don't like the spinning shit. Yeah. So I did that before. I was at, oh, I think it was a five star hookah or Hollywood hookah. Mm-hmm. And um, I hit the hookah and everything like that. And I was just like, oh, I can't continuously do this. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like, damn, I wish somebody would come out some, with something that I can put some weed on. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm not the type to where I'm going somewhere and I just really want to smoke hookah. You know, right. I'm not and a flavor person. That's you the know? reason why I yeah. chose, chose to. <laughs> have weed marijuana right you know medicinal marijuana because at the end of the day you know i can have medicinal marijuana and if you don't smoke mm-hmm. i still can have a section for just straight hookah right you right. know what i mean right so that that's that's what i'm trying to do um I, like i said i do a lot you know um i engineer mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying uh, i'm in, into music you know engineer i've been engineer for a minute so do you do any so since you engineer you actually mix and master your own projects mix and master my own projects stop playing with um, this guy yeah. right here um i had learned that you know because of my cousin mm-hmm. you know uh he had a studio and mm-hmm. whatever i go over there and uh you know i drop a verse mm-hmm. and i tell him like mix it mix it for me he'll go outside and right. He won't. He he won't mix it for me. So one day he did that, and I just sit down, mm-hmm. and I just start messing with the sounds. And oh, this sound tight. This sound kind of cool. Right. You know, uh, blending everything together. Mm-hmm. And then um, I end up buying my own studio. Check that out. You know, and bought my own studio. Start start working. Start getting better and better and better. Mm-hmm. Um, next thing you know, somebody stole my studio. Oh shit. You know, but I'm not tripping because mm-hmm. a week later. Got another one. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? A way better one. So, you know, 
yeah, you got you got haters. Yeah, you, you do. know what I'm saying. So uh, it's, it's haters out there. You know, y- y'all know who y'all are. You <laughs> know what I mean, but that's just the thing. You know, um, I do that. I cut hair. Mm. You know, I, yeah. And I that's what hair. I like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a barber hair. myself. You know, sh- you know, I'm I'm not afraid to work no nine to five neither. You know, I was a mail carrier for ten for almost eight years. Okay. You know, so and before that, I was working at LAX. So right. you know, I've been. I do my stuff, you know. What okay, I'm even I know though this doesn't matter, what sign are you? I'm a Scorpio. A Scorpio. Yeah, mm, I knew it. Something like you that. Because I'm an Aries, just like something that ties to it. Because I'm like totally like drawn to Scorpios and Gemini's. So yeah, we got a cool match. But I've been with a Scorpio for 15 years right now, so it's crazy. But I can understand y'all hustle. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? The mentality, the, the mentality that you guys have as people is more like, um, I'm gonna get what I want. You see what right. I'm saying? I'm like, by any means. By any means. By yeah. any means. By and any means. It's it's and I got when I I'm not a, like a whole like totally into the holy astrology and stuff like that, but there are personal things and norms that come from each other. You know what I'm saying? From people mm-hmm. that you can just like take from it. And it's like, oh yeah, you can generalize it and be like, okay, yeah, they kinda like the same, but everybody ain't like that. Right, right. You feel right, what I'm saying? Right, right. But in reality it's just like something about a Scorpio where it's like I kill myself before I let you. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, you yeah. niggas is crazy. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And, but I understand it. It's like, I can't let you get the victory over me. You know what I mean? That's the thing. You know, it's like, yeah, I I can't, you you can't win. You right. You know, I don't want you to win. You well, know, why it, is that? And if, and if you do win, it's going to tear me up inside until right. I win. Right. And, until I get some satis- satisfaction, uh-huh. you know, it's like, nah. I'm right. not satisfied. Hell no. I don't care what I did to you. If I still don't feel satisfied, it's like, nah. Yeah. You and know? you know what? That's so funny because, like I said, I dated Scorpio. And it's so funny because I can do shit like this, right? We can be really in a, um, we can be sitting there or whatever. And I can be like, I can shoulder shrug him or push him real quick, right? I'd be like, oh, yeah, okay. That's what I'm talking about. To, like, push his shoulder like that, right? In his mind, he's like, uh, <laughs> I'm about to push her ass back. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? And yep. I'm like, what yep. the fuck made it, you no, do that? It, it is. <laughs> it's like, you hit me? Oh, no, I got it. Right. Head back. right. I got to. It's so you funny know? because he, I can see it and he'd be like, we would start laughing again and here he come with the, ah, uh, boom. Like, yep. you know what I'm saying? Yep. Let me get you it, back right quick. It, I'm like, what the fuck? And the cold part is, it don't stop. Right. I just finna keep going now. You done got me, ro- you done got me up now. You done got me rolling. You know? <laughs> I don't know what that is about y'all, but it's just like, Scorpio's we, we, we out play, we, Yeah, we play around a lot. We yeah, you really but do. But the thing is, I ain't, we, we emotional. Yeah, you really emotional, but y'all hide y'all emotional side. There you go. You guys are genuine, but you guys hide the emotional side. But what I don't... Well, I mean, I do love this about y'all because I can't stay... I mean, when I was younger, I would probably be like that... Um, that angry girl who wouldn't accept this shit. Mm-hmm. But now that I'm older, I understand the logic behind the things you guys do. Right. You see what I'm saying? And because I've been dating a Scorpio so long, it's more like, um, he going to give it to me straight. I don't care. Right. But- you know what I mean? And he's not giving it to, he's not giving it to me from the point of view that I'm trying to get it from. I'm not, he's not trying to give it to me from his point of view. Straight. He's trying to give it to me from the world's World point, point of view. view. Exactly. And I'm looking like, I don't want you to give me from the world's point of view but because I'm speaking to you. It, but you have to look at it okay. like that because right. you know, we are, we, we, we are a sign that actually calcul- calculate our steps. Right. We calculate everything before we do anything. Don't think that we not we're not thinking about what we about to do, right? And how we gonna get out of this or how we gonna make this happen. This already been planned in our head. We already know what it is. We right. don't have to write it down. Period. Right. You know, and that's the type of people we are. Right. You know, because at the end of the, and, and we're not gonna let nobody stop stop us from doing what whatever wanna we do, wanna yeah. do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because. At the end of the day, it's your life, and we understand that. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, this is so fucking crazy. I feel like I'm talking to him right now because you like it's your life, and it's more like this. Because sometimes you know, I can be that type of person aware. Because I'm an Aries, you see what I'm saying? And what I mean by um, I was in my younger days, you know what I mean? Because um, I suppressed so much trauma. Mm-hmm. Um, I was a, a very, per- I was that person who lashed out a lot. You see what I'm saying? But that's when I'm young. You see what I'm saying? I'm about to be 34. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So when it gets to the point of me understanding myself, see, I am a, a spiritual person. Mm-hmm. So I've already tried, I've, al- I've already, um, 
been on a healing a journey within myself as a person so when people speak on Aries or how we are they probably speaking about my childhood uh -huh. you see what I'm saying and the aggression that I had back then but it's more like when you open up a book you're on chapter one and two you know me on that chapter right. you ain't never got to chapter 34 you feel right, what I'm saying right. and that right there ain't even started yet you, we still halfway into chapter 33 you see what I'm saying so from that point you're not understanding that how we've grown as people. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. So because you well, well go ahead. Well, well things gotta happen. Yeah, exactly. Things, you got like, to experience uh, like, things. Like series of things has to happen for somebody to grow. You know, it's like like you said, I don't want to stay on some topic, but yeah, you know, it's things that I'm going through that, you know, I never experienced, you know. Right. That I let happen to me mm -hmm. because I open myself. Right. Vulnerability, you know vulnerability you is know, a lot. You feel me? So since I opened myself, right, it's like, damn. Mm-hmm. That's how. That's how. That's how it is. You right. You know what I mean? Right. But when I wasn't open, when it was like, phew, right, it's like. So are you like, speaking on um, as far as relationships or partnerships or period. business? You know, uh, relationships. Any, that, that's with any relationship. Okay. Because you can open yourself to a business partner and he can fuck you over. Yeah. At yeah. Any time. You know True. what I'm saying? Just like. A woman can, mm -hmm. just like a man can. Right. You know what I mean? So that's just what it is. You you, you might tell the person that your deepest, darkest secret. You right. You know what I mean? And then next thing you know, they blabbing it out or saying Right. Stuff. Or y'all not together like, no more. Yeah. And it's like, damn. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why when women always say, you can't get my name tatted. No. Nope. No. Why? No. Because what I think of every person I seen get, they, mm -hmm. uh, they partner name tatted. Mm-hmm. About a week later, you know, it's a situation. It's yeah, it's a situation. You know situation. what I mean? So I'll be like, nah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Right. Whatever it is, whatever. Right. You know, I know you. I know I'm with you. They mm -hmm. know I'm with you. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Why do I got to prove something and put uh, your name on, on me? And even if you my wife, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do that because it's always it's something called divorce. You know right. what I'm saying? Because right. you can always get divorced. You know you what can. I mean? I, I done talked to all my little my OG homies and oh I got to, I've been married twice and I've been it, it it's always it's it's always something you right. know what I mean so I would never get a woman name tatted on me right you know what I mean I don't I don't put that past you you know what I mean um I I, I mean my thing is this I feel the same way to a certain extent because um, when it comes to marriage I feel a little bit different. Um, I feel like, you know, we're going to work it out, period. I don't really give a fuck. It's supposed to be like <laughs> you that. You know what I'm saying? You got people that haven't, haven't, just like your boy, having affairs. You know, yeah, if you want to yeah. get on that topic. Oh, let's you know do it. I mean? Let's do it. You know, yeah. just like your boy, he having an affair right. since he was married. You know right. what I mean? So it, it doesn't matter. You well, know what I mean? Let's talk about it then. Um, you guys, we're talking about Derek Jackson right now, okay? We're gonna get we're gonna speak on Derek Jackson right now. Um, if you haven't been updated on that topic, we have a relationship guru who went out there and he's he's actually you guys do not get me wrong. This man has been giving out good advice. You know what I'm saying? He's had he's been um actually helping some women and some men in some of the choices and stuff like that through the videos that he do make. But because he's been exposed for being a total hypocrite and a total cheater and and in my opinion, a narcissist. He has, um, like, I guess, bamboozled the world. Do you see what I'm saying? And it's more like, um, I actually, uh, my thing is this, to what you're saying. When it comes to Derek Jackson, if he was truthful from the beginning, I would possibly think different about him. You see what I'm saying? If he came out to his wife from the very, very, very beginning and said, I am a uh, serial sex addict. You see what I'm saying? I like, um, you know, um, engaging with different women. I, I love, you know what I'm saying, communicating. The part of my job is to communicate and understand other people and women and everything like that. You, you know what I'm saying? It would have been a different type of understanding, a different type of uh, thought process for me at this moment. But because he did everything out of line, he just trash. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So, so my thing is, I want to know on that. You feel me? Why do men actually cheat? 
You see what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that you can't cheat. You feel what I'm saying? Because like I said, on different bases, on circumstances, if you would have spoke to me about some things, instead of hid these things, I'd probably be different in my mind state. You see what I'm okay. saying? So on that basis of you understanding what I'm saying, why do men cheat? Because I'm not okay with him cheating on his wife. And I'm not okay, and I'm not saying I'm not okay with a man cheating, depending on his certain type of stature. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. So... Okay, like you said, it, it it goes by. I can't I can't put. I can, I can speak from my point of view. Mm-hmm. I can't speak from a, you know, he got businesses. You know, right. I, I can't I can't speak from that point of view. But why do men cheat? You know, some like nowadays this generation, mm-hmm. most women don't cook. Mm-hmm. They don't clean. Truth. You know, they don't They do not do nothing. Right. But beg and ask for money. Okay. You know what I mean? And, and I mean, it's true. Yeah. You know, so, you know, my ideal woman is, you know, I, if I'm coming, if I'm working, mm-hmm. I should come home to like, you Some know, home clean house. Yeah, you know, clean something house. like that. You know, because yeah. I never, you know, fucked around like that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But. In my in my head, you know what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I might as well, you know, because at the end of the day, I'm I'm working. Right. I'm coming home. House not clean. This 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 that. This, you know this this that. And it's like, damn. Mhm. You know what I'm saying. That's why a lot of dudes like go off. And, I, she might be my ideal woman, as far as you know how she, how she looks. Look. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying. All that, but. She, she doesn't. She, her maintenance, yeah, all that. That's yeah. just. It's like, oh shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of dudes get fooled. Right. Mm-hmm. Don't don't think a lot of dudes. A lot of dudes get fooled. That's true. And what's so fucked up about it is when they do get fooled, it's too late because they already got her pregnant. Right. Right. There you, you go. You know what I'm saying? There you it's go. too late. You yeah. know. And that's why a lot of these relationships don't even don't even work out. Is is because it people they, come in together on frost on false pretenses anyway. One night stands. Right. They're getting pregnant. You know, they're, right. getting, they're getting the girl pregnant off a one night stand on accident. On how but they then, look. But then the woman, you know, the dude, oh, um, you know, you know how it all, all, yeah, all goes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, you can go, go get an abortion, or show body, whatever, whatever, whatever. The woman, you know, is... It's a difference because you start to get attached to right. something growing in your body. Right. Regardless you know if you a hoe. Right. Regardless if you a stripper. Right. Regardless if you a person who with morals or whatever. Right, right. As a woman... In our defense, we gonna get attached to something unless we don't have that, you know, unless we have that uh, that barrier, you know, yeah, that shit in our yeah. yeah, yeah let's just yeah. say fuck it. Yeah, yeah. If we got the yeah. fuck it gene, then we're fucking. Most, most women's gotta get attached. <coughs> they have most, the attachment they get, gene, yeah. right? You know, so most likely they keep it. Yeah. Then next thing you know, what, what comes with that? You know what I'm saying? Right. Arguments. Mm-hmm. This, that, because that's not your ideal person that you want to be with. Right. That was just a person that you met at the club, that you were drunk, finna go home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And th- that's what it is. You know, y'all or, really don't know each other. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's what a lot of dudes, a lot of women, that that's, is all messed up. You right. know what I'm saying? And that's where a lot of cheating come from because women do it too. Yeah. They the slickest ones. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They had been another another dude car right next next to you at the stoplight. You know what I'm saying? And right. You, you feel you would me? never even know. You would never Because he know. got black tinted windows. And you understand what I'm saying? I got so you. It's, it's, it's just a, it's a game out here. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. everybody playing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just what it is. Yeah. Even at, even at jobs, work. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's a big job, such as you know, you got FedEx, post office. It don't matter who it is. You know, it don't matter where it is. You gon' you you gon' grow attached to somebody in there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whether oh that's a friend. Next thing you know, that friend turned into yeah something else. And that's why I say when people ask me, okay, how do you cheat? I say anybody cheats. I don't care if you're a man yeah. or a woman. In my opinion, you cheat off of communication, yeah. conversation. If you say hi to me and I and you say can I have your number and I accept your number and you call me and we have a good conversation. Done deal. You Done you don't I say cheating begins off conversation. So I don't give my number out. You see what I'm saying? And I'll be honest with you. I don't give my number out to guys because I don't want to play that um what can you say um uh, Temptation role. Right, right. Um, because you can fall in temptation regardless if you're trying to or not. 
in right. my opinion. Right. I don't care about anybody else. It's just my opinion that you can fall into temptation. So I don't give my number out to men so I can fall into temptation. You feel what I'm saying? Because in reality, if I like this guy and I can actually have a communication because I'm a sopiosexual. So I... I get in tune with a man's fucking knowledge. Mm -hmm. If you can teach me something mm -hmm. or you can tell me something about some shit I've never seen or I can go somewhere with you and be like amazed by this shit and I've opened up to you to accept the conversation and the invitation, you never know what happens. You see what I'm saying? Because we're all human beings and, and animalistic. If we take away from humans and we go to animal structures who's monogamous in the animal community you see what i'm saying in reality you know what i mean so it's like hey i don't even open up that can of worms right you see what i'm saying i'm not gonna play that game with you so that's why i feel like i've been in relationships so long you know what i mean because i can divert the bullshit you know what i mean right, and right, to be right. in a relationship so long you have to learn to divert divert the bullshit right you know right, what i mean right so when, when i speak on that i just be like when I listen to people today and they be like, oh, well, he cheated on me, da 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 he did this, he did that, I be like, because I've grown and I'm older, okay, if you were to catch me at 21, 18, yeah, different story. 17, maybe even 25, you feel what I'm saying? As a person, I probably would think totally different. You right. see what I'm saying? And I wouldn't, but my, I'm not a destroyer, though. I'm not going to destroy your shit. You see what I'm saying? I'll probably expose you. <laughs> uh -huh, you know what I'm saying? See, but I'm not gonna destroy your shit. See, see, that's that's the difference between the Scorpio. Okay. Oh, we gonna we gonna go at it. See. We are. And gonna I'm gonna go, go with you it. though. Yeah. But I'm gonna see, go as far as you go though. Exactly. Because in reality, I really care about the people I'm with. We're debaters. Of course. And y'all feel like y'all win every we're, time. We're gonna go back and forth. And you think you And then win. this the cold part. Like my, I'm I'm put my boy called me. Mm -hmm. He say, Oh man, uh. This girl put some stuff in my car, in my gas tank. Mm -hmm. He got he he say he say, man, I'm about to go do I, I'm about to go do this. I said, look, man, this is what I would this is what I, I I said I said me I said man, ain't nobody gonna touch my car. Anybody touch my car, I'm gonna max their car out. Right. Because I, I'm just I gotta get my I gotta get my get back. Total revenge. You know what I mean? Right, and that's right. just what it is. But you know he got it fixed and left it alone. But me, I would. have yeah see me right. differently if somebody did something to my car me to be honest with you i'm just gonna be a yeller i'm gonna talk <laughs> shit i'm gonna do all that other bullshit but in reality i really don't want to hurt you you see what i'm saying because i can get another car i'm gonna have some money for a car you know what i'm saying i'm very self-sufficient so i mean i mean i got insurance and all that yeah I mean, that i'm very self-sufficient you know, but i'm i'm not a, a re farm. i don't <laughs> think i'm that much of a revenge person i think i get too emotional to be revenge i think i'm gonna cry if you do something to me Mm. I'm being honest with you. I'm an Aries. So people think that we're so aggressive, but in reality, I'm only aggressive if you're aggressive with me. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not going to provoke you to be aggressive with me. But that's the thing. Scorpios don't provoke anything. Bullshit. We don't we don't provoke. Bullshit. <laughs> Where is the gavel? I mean, oh, I'm looking at the backyard audience. Where is the gavel? Because you guys provoke. See, this is the thing. Sometimes it depends on what Scorpio you're dealing with. Okay. Yeah. Because in my reality, if you're dealing with um um if you're dealing with an independent Scorpio, most, it may be different. You're cool most of the time. You may be cool, but if you're dealing with like a mama boy, some somebody who had uh past traumas or some other shit going on in their life that they haven't got over or insecurities that they don't that y'all really don't want to portray and say y'all oh we ain't insecure, but you guys really are and you know what I'm saying so many different ways. You see what I'm saying? And then it goes to oh woe is me ass shit, but then again you say, Oh no, you ain't going to be wars me in front of your people, but you'll wars me with your girl. You feel what I'm saying? That type of shit. So it's like, I wouldn't know so much about you, but you'll play on that card and try to play me about the information I gave you. So it's like, it becomes a turn the, turn the book on. I mean, no, turn oh, the, what? you know what I'm saying? It, be turn, it becomes a bashing session because, you know what I'm saying? It'd be like, you would turn the tables on me and, and out, but because I'm just saying because of who I am mm -hmm. as an Aries, mm -hmm. it'd be, I get in defense, defense mode and y'all yeah. be like, because you know me so well, because I'm so open with my fucking communication to you guys and you guys are so not open to telling everything. You, and you know, you, 
That's crazy. You guys are not yeah. open to telling everything, but you will tell we, you we, what we, you want to know. We'll tell you half. Exactly. We'll tell you half. And so me as an open book, as an Aries, I'm telling you everything. And guess what y'all do? That is you guys' defense mechanism on when it comes to y'all insecurity and shit that y'all can't handle. You turn the page and it becomes me. And I be like... How did it turn on me? How did it become me? How did I continuously do this to myself? You know what I'm saying? Wow. You guys are good manipulators, I can say. Wow. Yes. Wow. Comment if you don't think so, because I believe you guys, Scorpio men, are very, very good manipulators. Hey, you know what's so funny? Look, my baby mom called me and say, hey, you, 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 how can I manipulate a man? And you're giving me some money. <laughs> Cause she know who to call, nigga. <laughs> Shout out to your baby mama. Real woman. Boy, real woman. Call the best said, of them all. I said, I said, what? You know, but it was like, wow, you know, but mm -hmm. it's serious yeah. because you guys can play on other people's downfalls in their realities of mm. what it is. You guys learn people very well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We watch everybody. Yeah. You know, like when, when I go out. People be like, why you be so quiet? Very good observers. I'm like, don't worry. You know? Right. And we could be standing in a circle. Mm -hmm. And I'll be all over the circle. And they'd be like, what? You was just over there. Right. Boy, you just don't Boy, know. Boy, don't play with me. Yeah, you... But see, that's why I believe you guys are very good protectors as yeah. well. Even though you guys don't show so much emotion. But because yeah. I'm an Aries, I go off emotion and shit. You feel what I'm saying? But I do go off logic as time because I can understand. But you guys are very logical creatures. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, beyond being logical creatures and stuff like that, getting on to a different topic when it comes to relationships. Did you see the situation that went on with Quavo and Sweetie? Yeah. Okay. So in that aspect of the world, <laughs> we're going to watch it a little bit. Let me see. I really want to know what you guys really think of this situation. Okay. Now, I see him trying to get his stuff. Right? Now, mind you, did y'all see... Can we pause this real quick? Mind you, I, this is really what I want the world to understand. Well, not even the world. I really don't give a fuck if the world understands. This is my point of view. And my point of view is this, right? This right here is a Call of Duty motherfucking limited edition, my nigga. Okay? I'm an Aries, okay? And I'm and he's an Aries, okay? In defense of our Aries people because uh. because I think I don't know who posted that shit and said, "Oh my god, he's an Aries and he's an aggressive male." You know what I'm saying? Come on, fuck that bullshit. We grown here and we're not going to base anything that people do off of a fucking astrology sign, okay? Cut the bullshit, okay? Mm -hmm. Stop all that. Uh, your astrology sign did this. No, it's just people. And in his defense, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, he's just acting in a moment. Yeah, in his defense to me, if you see this right here, she, he what they did was have a little tussle. He swung. And this right here is a limited edition once again. <laughs> Xbox, a, uh, Call of Duty uh, case, okay? That was expensive, okay? <laughs> look, and look, he bought her a Birkin bag. And the what kind of car? What kind of car? I don't know. A Bentley or some shit? The, the truck, huh? Yeah. He bought her an expensive ass car. He never asked for none of his shit back, right? All he getting is a motherfucking Xbox, motherfucker. He getting a motherfucking Xbox his in, his, in his damn backpack. He just want to mm. play his game. He just want to play his game. <laughs> mm -hmm. You feel me? And they started on her level. If you can start it and they go back, you feel what I'm saying? Her shoes are right there you see it right 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 now watch him get on the elevator right so if you pass this right if he, he gets on the elevator right it's gonna be a man standing at the other side of the elevator okay so when he gets to the man standing on the other side of the other side of the elevator you gotta understand this when i press the button to go where i'm finna go if somebody already pressed the button to go down or to go up i'm gonna go to their floor right yeah so the man, here you go. He get her on. Boom. I want my Xbox. That's all I want. You feel what I'm saying? Boom. Somebody has already pressed the button to go, you know, go down or go up, mm -hmm. whatever one. We're going to see that person stand right here. Right. You see what I'm saying? When the door is open. Right. You feel me? So, once he's standing there as the door is open, Quavo, he moves his Xbox and he moves his backpack so the man can actually get on. You feel me? But the man chooses not to get on. We're going to watch. You see the man right there? Right. They on a whole different floor. So Quavo, he moves his stuff. 
He can get on if he wants to, but the man like, okay, sweetie going dumb right now. He going to stay off. He pressed the button to go back to her apartment building, you guys. It's seen right there. He like, come on, man. You got to get up. It's cameras right here. We He's seen the camera. He get his Xbox. He get his backpack. What did he do? He said, hey, if you go swipe left on it, he puts the Xbox to keep the door open. Okay? Right. So he puts the Xbox to keep the door open right here. And he telling her, come on, man. Get off the fucking elevator. You feel me? You can see her shoes are right there. So we're back up top. So he right, like, come on, right, just right. let me let's let me leave. It's a camera right here. Y'all tripping. You tripping. You trying to make me go to jail. This right here is crazy. You feel right, what I'm saying? Right, right. And I can say as 22 years old or 18 or 17, I was this toxic person and I'm a, I'm, and I'm a limp off like I got a problem. <laughs> mm. I'm going to make you look bad as a motherfucker. You feel me? <laughs> and you feel me I'm gonna try to make you look as bad as I can and on top of that you see how she gets off he waits till she get off and he goes back into the elevator and what did he do proceed to Go leave down. Yeah. so uh -huh. in my opinion I was that 17 year old I was that 22 year old 25 and you know 25 drunk in the club really in love with a nigga you feel me he buy me Birkin bags and shit why would not try to stop this nigga mm -hmm. from leaving mm -hmm. like you have the bag you feel me why would not stop you from leaving and in my own opinion you guys can bash me whatever but I feel like she never was in a relationship for love anyway because she's an icy chick she telling y'all if your man don't make a certain amount of money or can't buy you a certain type of bag. You see what I'm saying? Don't date them. We talking about regular bitches today who work regular fucking jobs. Right, right, okay. Right, right. On a real. And we can't compare to that. And on top of that, some of these people aren't even up to her status. This right. girl is in her early or late or no, her early 20s yeah, me, with a me degree. Too. From USC, which mm. you do not get fucking, um, you can't pay to go there. Mm. You got to get picked to go there. She's a very intelligent female. And because you're very intelligent, like my boy Derek Jackson, you see what I'm saying? You, They know how to play on the card. They know how to play the vulnerability, the vulnerability card. They know how to play the victim, everything like that. You're very smart. You're not dumb. You know what I'm saying? And you know how to get what you want. Mm -hmm. If you seen her her picture, what's her picture on um Instagram now? She got money mic. Yeah. Pimpin' is and, wow. and pimpin' is, pimpin' is. Come on, wow. man. Stop playing. <laughs> you know what you're doing. Don't play the victim and make this man look that bad. Yeah, yeah. She taunting him. You yeah. know, that's why he came out with a song and was like, You're not sweet as I thought you was. Well, you know, that ain't gonna hurt them. It's not because they both they both are high level people. They, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what are you thinking about that? Being a high volume man and a high volume woman, and you see that they become like Sweetie and Quavo, their relationship goals, right? They were relationship goals prior to the situation. Right, right, right. And their relationship goals only because they're what? High volume they people. people. Right. You know what I mean? J and, J and B. Right. Ain't nobody saying nothing about Solange going right. dumb on Jay-Z. Right. You see what I'm saying? And shit, that's woman abuse. But in reality, we ain't talking about Solange because she she was protecting her motherfucking sister. <laughs> my bitch. Wow. Get that. You know what I'm saying? Protect your sister, bitch. But you feel me what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. But it is it is what it is because yeah. her sister wasn't going to do that because she's a high-level celebrity and I'm not right. going to expose right. myself for some shit you did, nigga. No. You feel right. me? So I respect right. Beyonce and Solange on that. In my, in my dogs but as far as these two they're young i mean you've seen worse than that yeah come that on man do you think that was abuse no i don't think it was abuse what you think him yeah i don't think it was abuse nowhere either. near i think it was a tussle for sure and somebody trying to just say man just let me leave for real for real right. you know and she's a cancer you know they kind of possessive you know what i'm saying they kind of like you know like get what they said, want he just wanted to play his game he just wanted, he just wanted to play game. his game. That's all he wanted to do was play his game, get up out of there, and just let you do what you do. Right. And I believe that was the last straw. You cannot. You cannot. And I'm just saying. I'm an Aries person. 
doesn't mean that that's a, a astrology bullshit or whatever like that, whatever. But I'm just saying as as me thinking, and you know, I'm thinking for if I'm thinking for Aries, we don't like the police. You see what I'm saying? We really don't like the police. We don't really like them too too many people in our space. We really don't like a lot of shit. We accept what we accept and do what we do. Some people may not like it. We may be blunt as a motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? And then have to come back and realize that everybody's not that open and opinionated about situations and can't take the truth today. That's a crazy situation because people can't take the truth for shit today. I mean, I don't. I think it it started. I feel. I feel if the truth come like genuinely like right there mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like if we talking and we telling the truth and we going yeah. back and forth then that's that's different. different but if you been lying about some shit and then it's the next thing you know it's like boom yeah you know what i'm saying homies females well it, it don't matter mama mm-hmm. it don't matter it don't matter, it don't who, matter you who, are. who it is yes you know what i'm saying it's a problem it's a problem yeah and you know that's what I mean? and i think that's how i feel as an Aries woman. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm okay with a lot of shit. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm okay with a lot of shit. But only thing I'm not okay with is fucking in the ass. I don't do that. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about to do that, y'all. I can't do it. You feel me? I can't do it. No. I'm not doing that. But um, other than that, I'm not I'm not killing no kids. I'm not doing nothing that has to do with disrespecting a child mm. in any form, mm-hmm. fashion, or anything like right. that. It pisses me the fuck off. I don't like to talk about fat people, what they say <laughs> they are. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I don't uh-huh. like that shit. You feel what I'm saying? I'm an underdog type of person. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm I'm rooting for everybody, you know what I'm saying, in certain type of shit. So if you say they're fat, my fat is P H A T. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Pretty high end. You know, tempting. Yeah, yeah. Pretty hot and tempting. Yeah. So I don't really give a fuck about a fat person if you really think of that nature. But I believe that fat person is pretty hot and tempting. And best what is a lot of these big girls out here are very beautiful. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And it's nothing to just put hey, look, their mental on a different I don't, state. I, I don't I don't really like skinny skinny girls. Right. You know okay. what I'm saying? Give me a little meat. On your bones or you something like that. Yeah. But, but, you know, you got to have a nice body. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, everybody. And then, you know, um, to talk about, let's go back to that high level, that high volume guy and all that shit like that. I kind of like agree some point. Some people may bash me or whatever like that. I can take it with Kevin Samuels. You know what I'm saying? We are in a different state and different mind state of life today you see what i'm saying yeah new generation it's a whole nother generation and everybody got different type of standards okay because i see a lot of uh women who are okay with well i see a lot of women who have been through trauma and in their mindset they're okay with doing things that um we don't normally think is okay right but they do that shit because they put up a different type of um shell and they harder than normal right you know what i'm saying because they've been through some shit it's a lot of us who've been molested right talked about been through some shit seen a lot of deaths killings we sold dope we did all kind of shit you know what i'm saying so we can say in our opinion that we stood up there high with a nigga you feel what I'm saying? Because some of these niggas today be on some bitch shit and wouldn't do half of the stuff some of these women would do today. Right. You see what I'm saying? So we put women on a different type of level today. But but, but that's that's what I'm saying. That's where the switch came at. That's you the switch. The switch, like, um, that's what I'm saying. Okay, let me explain. In the early 2000s, mm-hmm. you know, dude selling dope. Mm-hmm. 90s coming out the 90s, you know, dude selling dope. Big money. They were still on a little bit, you know. And, uh, you know, when we came up, that's when we was kids. Right. So now when we came up, we start having kids. Mm-hmm. Our dads, you know what I'm saying, either was dead. My Strung pop, out. My, pop, my mm-hmm. pop's gone. He dead. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, but either your pop's dead, strung out, in jail. Right. Period. Or just not even fucking there. Right. Somebody else. Right. You know what I'm saying? So most of us didn't have, a lot of us didn't have no fathers you can go around and ask anybody in our generation like that and we our fathers wasn't really around they was hustling right you know what i'm saying some of them got most of them got killed in the jail right so you know 
as we get older, we think about it like, uh, I'm going to take care of my son. You know what I'm saying? I got to make a son. I'm going to take care of my son. So now you end up having some kids. Mm-hmm. That's where uh, everything switch. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where so when do you have this kid? Let's put let's put that basis on that. It, it it just it depends on it don't matter what it can be 19, 20, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? 18 don't matter when you had a kid. You right. know what I'm saying? Everything still just switch. Right. Because you don't you never raised the kid before. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at but what I'm saying about switch is this, the woman being locked in the house, mm-hmm. bed rest, whatever, you know, 9 months, you know, not feel, not really feeling good, you know what I'm saying, because it's uncomfortable. Right. So now when it's time for her to get out, you you finna watch the baby, you know what right, I mean? Right, right. But it's, it, it changes because it, you may not be there, you may be dead, you may be in jail, or you may be absent. No. Oh, no. Okay, okay. What I'm saying is changing because now you gotta, you a stay-at-home dad. Oh, okay. You, you see what I'm saying? Yep. That, I'm getting to that point that we was talking right. about. You a stay-at-home dad. You know what I mean? So now you're giving her a chance to go get her money back right, right get this right. right. But at the end of the day, she's getting so comfortable, you know, with being a breadwinner. Be, being a bre- being a breadwinner, and then she at work, you know, talking to the other dudes and right. doing this. She come home, you playing a game, you know this. She like, damn. She looking at you like, damn, you a bum. You know right. what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then. That's where all the conversation go with the dude at the at the job and whatever she might be out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and some somebody might meet her and want to take her out. Mm-hmm. But th- those are the dudes that didn't have no kids. You know what I'm saying? They at work. You know they getting money. They doing this, but you at home watching the kid. You know what I mean? Right. So that's what shows that interest. I mean that's what uh that's what that's what had like the girls the breadwinner basically. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying now? So basically. She like she talking to the dude foul, right? Bum, because she this, because that. she's make more money than you. Yeah. She feel like she can wear the pants in that relationship and not give you that opportunity to be the man still. Right. So mm-hmm. now it's like, oh, you gotta go. Right. That was your you. That was your baby daddy. You right. Know what I'm but then this how it work. The switch come from now. As soon as she kick you out, do this, do that. You you boss up. When you boss up, she back right under your under your wing again. And it's like, oh. No, I can't do that no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Be, but I understand it. But in reality, that's all she wanted from the beginning anyway. It, it, but she it, didn't know how to. She didn't know how to tell you how to do it in different ways. Right. Yeah. But but you are her ideal guy. Uh huh. What I'm what I'm trying to explain is that's your for you know that's your that that's the person you had kids with. Right. This person you was living with. She wants you to be on. Mm-hmm. Like the dude she's messing with or right, the dude she's dealing right, with. Right. Right. If you get on, she will come back to you, no matter how much money she he got. You know, but you're, what I'm saying? But you're kind of not not willing to accept her back. back. No, right, you know what I'm saying. Right, no, no, no dude would ever do that. You know what I'm saying. Okay, okay. So that's how that's how it go. Okay, you know what I'm saying. That's where the switch come in at. But then, like, that's why all the women they like, be on top. Like, mm-hmm. you got rappers. Mm-hmm. You know, all the you got the, the rap all the rapper women. You got Nicki Minaj. She started it off. Right, Cardi B, you know what I'm saying. But see, we go backwards because Cardi, B, well, not Cardi B, but uh, Nicki Minaj. She will, she will marry the street dude she loved before instead of an industry guy. You see what I'm saying? And then men will be like, "No, I'm just going to upgrade my standards because I have the bag." You see what I'm saying? It's kind of crazy, right? You see, you see what I'm saying? So, yeah, we will revert back, and you that, guys will level up. Exactly. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that's what I'm saying. When when a dude ups, y'all can come back. Yeah, because you know what women are? We're into, some women are into helping a dude build up to be who they are. And they want to have some type of credit in that. Boom. You know what I mean? I did this. Yeah. I did that. Yeah. I did this. That's why you see all these pretty women, uh-huh. these dudes, you be like, what the fuck? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's like, wow. Okay, but I understand it. They, right. They want to build this guy so they can say, I did this, I did that. But right. if, if the guy got it already. Mm-hmm. And they can't say it, they don't want to fuck with them. Well, of course, because you can't deal with a alpha male who has it already. Right. If you were alpha male, if, if that guy's an alpha male, and it goes back to Kevin Samuels, you see what I'm saying? If that guy's an alpha male, he not really thinking about a female telling him what to do because he got the money to talk the shit he can talk. 
Boom. You see what I'm saying? You know and it's mean? like, ain't no reason for you to say nothing to me because I can buy four, five, and six bitches like you. You Boom. see what I'm saying? All you do is offer me your ass. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes a conversation and a pretty bitch to have on my arm. You right. see what I'm saying? Which goes back to modern days, like you said. Women lack certain things. And I agree with Kevin Samuels because I'm a different type of female. You feel what I'm saying? I grew up in the 80s. You see what I'm saying? So, um, my mom taught me how to cook. You know what I'm saying? That was one thing that I know. You know what I'm saying? My mom taught me how to do things. I'm a barber. You feel what I'm saying? That's what's up. Um, I do hair. You see what I'm saying? Everything like that. And even before all that, I was the type to say... I want to get a man and I want to be able to be the wife that can do my man haircut. If he got braids, I can braid his hair. If he want to eat, I can cook for him. If he want to massage or anything like that, I can massage his cater. body and stuff cater. like that. I you can cater. cater to my guy. You so go yeah, you yeah. gotta go nowhere. You, and, and look, and that's the, that's the what dudes be wanting. Be you feel what I'm saying? But that's you know. why I, when some people ask me, they ask me, how can you be in a relationship for so long with no kids? Girl, do you know it ain't about all that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? I know how to do things to keep my man in this relationship right. for 15 years. Right. You see Look, what I'm you saying? You know, you know what's so funny? That is the stuff that you're supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. To get a ring on your finger. Yeah. But see, in my, and to, to defend women, well, defend people as a whole. And when I'm thinking, I got a godson, right? I don't mm -hmm. have no biological kids by myself or whatever mm -hmm. between me and my dude. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have any kids mm -hmm. either. And it's a choice between the both of us. Right. You see what I'm saying? But because we leveling up and it's okay. He's crazy thing. He's a high volume guy. Right. You know, so I can't. I mean, he's a high value guy, so I can't really. I'm really doing what I need to do to keep my man. You see what to. I'm saying? So in reality, <clears throat> when I say I don't have any children or like that, it's okay. But look, I'm I'm losing train of thought and everything. But but women miss the fact that it doesn't really mean it doesn't matter about uh, what can I say? Because they ask me, how do I keep this guy? I do what I have to do, and on top of that, if we're thinking about reality of life, if you get into a relationship with somebody and you meet them, right? If, if we if we get in a relationship with each other, right? Nine times out of ten, I'm not in a relationship with you immediately living with you, right? No. You would probably live wherever you live. You probably live with your mom. Right. You probably live by yourself, whatever right. like that. But in my mind, being... 33 years old, about to be 34, I'm thinking you live by yourself. Right. You see what I'm saying? And the reason why I'm thinking why you live by yourself, because guess what? We grown. What the fuck are you doing? Why are you right. still living with your mom? Unless your mom is sick, right. unless you're helping, or unless you're a vet, or somebody like, you know what I'm saying, coming out of a personal career, and your mom and dad tell you, you know what I'm saying, until you get this, whatever, whatever. You know, it's certain, you know, circumstances, circumstances why people live with their mom, and it's not a problem. Right. But... You're supposed to do what you're supposed to do as a human being regardless. So if you live by yourself, you telling me you ain't gonna know how to cook for yourself? If you live by yourself, you telling me you ain't gonna know how to wash your own clothes? If you live by yourself, you telling me you can't do the things to tidy up your home to make it comfortable for yourself? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And then as a woman, the same thing, vice versa. So I'm thinking it's about the parenting. Right. Because uh, my mom. Serious. She's crazy. I'm not crazy, but like she did stuff like this. This this is why I'm like how I am. I'm like I cook, clean, I do everything. Come on and, now. And everything has to be in like I got OCD, so everything okay. has to be in like boom boom order. Boop, okay. Boop. So, um, my mom used to like make us get up at five o'clock in the morning. She'd start playing them oldies. Yep. You know playing. what I mean? Mm -hmm. She'd make us get up five o'clock yep. in the morning, and we'd be like, you know, why we gotta make our why we gotta make our bed up. And then get back in it. Mm -hmm. It don't make sense. Right. But as we got older, I started understanding like mm -hmm. five o'clock, boom, we make our bed up. We ain't going to want to get back in it. Period. You know what I mean? It's, Period. It's, it's already, we ain't going to want to get back in Period. it. Period. So now we up. Mm -hmm. Now we got to clean the whole house. Yep. I understand her game. Mm -hmm. But it made us better because at the end of the day, it's like we clean our our house going to stay clean right you know this is because i done walked to some houses where it's like oh my god you know come on now you know i done walked to some female houses or some people houses, and i was like oh no i walked to somebody's house and i promise you i'm not going to tell you their name i will not use that bathroom because i do not like ringing around no toilet oh my god i don't like none of that 
Okay, when I tell you that ring was so deep, nigga, you ain't cleaned in years. I see. I'm not. I'm not using a bathroom here. Are you I crazy? See ten times worse than that. Are you crazy? I'm talking. About, I, I, boy, I've been in places where I'm like the roaches greet you before yes. you get inside. Like, yes. are you crazy? Yes. You can smell the roaches inside the wall. And I don't understand yeah, how they. Inside. But you know what? Some people become immune to their smell. Oh, and it's uh, like, yeah. come on, bro. This is ridiculous. Yeah. But I can't fought you for certain things you know what i'm saying hey it is what it is to each his own right, right. but my thing is this because i was raised in a, a a single parent home my mother used to work and it was in janitorial service all my life damn near mm-hmm. my mama used to come home and be doing shit like this ain't oh. no way i should come oh. home and my shit dirty and i done cleaned up somebody else's shit know, what's so funny is my mom used to, she come home right she used to come home she'd look at the table like this sideways mm-hmm it's a See, fingerprint fingerprints. Right there. Oh, Stop a, playing. Pound it. It's a, it's a, that's my mother a, all freaking day. I'm like, day. wow. Okay. I'm, I'm, like a, I'm like a fingerprint. You mm-hmm. see? It's just a shit. Because mm-hmm. I just feel like if I raise a kid today, and my thing is this. This is how I think about life. If I raise a kid today, you know, and I'm teaching them all that I can, I can teach them. You know what I'm saying? I'm making sure that they can be able to have survival skills on their own. As far as being a woman, you know how to be a woman. Right. As far as being a man, you know how to be a man. But right. you guys will have some similar skills together. You right. know what I'm saying? As a man, you know how to take care of your household. You know you got to be the breadwinner. You know you're going to, if you want to be this certain stature of type of guy, you know you got to, well, you know. that's kind of, that, that would be kind of hard for a single mom. Oh, yeah. No, no, know? no. Because a single mom, uh-huh. you know, she can tell right. a man, right. you know, like, she can teach him only so much. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying so much as in age-wise. Right. Because I feel by, that. by the time you get about, like, 12, 13, Yeah, he got to go to his dad. Yeah. It. yeah. Even, what if he's a single mom? Don't but, gotta, yeah, but, but it's some to, single she, moms that raise some really good, my strong mom, men. Sh- shout out to my mom. Yeah. Single mom, yeah. you know. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know. We didn't follow in instructions, right. directions. We right. bumped our head a thousand times, me and my brother. Yeah. You know, r- really me. I'm going to say right. just me. Me personally, you know, pe- speaking from my, me. I bumped my head a thousand times. You right. know what I'm saying? And shit. Yeah. You know, my mom couldn't do nothing about right. nothing because that's what, it, it's man, it's man shit. Yeah. You and know the what crazy saying? thing is when you. Women s- can't get into men shit. You truth. You understand what I'm saying? That's the truth. So. That's why when I when I t- try to tell my my son like this man shit yeah you know you did this how you do you look at me in my eye you look at a man in his eye when when he's talking to you right everything right you know because at the end of the day that that's that's that's, that's a sign of respect right it's a respect level right. at at its highest mm-hmm. you know what I mean dudes don't you look at dude off why he talking why why he talking to you you know what I'm saying he gonna feel serious. some type of yeah. way yeah yeah he ain't gonna tell you. But right. it's like, all right. I see you know, what type of guy you yeah, are. Exactly, yeah, exactly. You know, mm-hmm. so, I, and I see it all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I I can get looked off all the time, but I'm not tripping. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because when I'm elevated up here and you st- now you're looking at me, right. you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I'm going to leave you. I'm gone. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what I tell my homies. Hey, look. Come fuck with me. Mm-hmm. Come do this. Come do that. I used to pay for it. I used to pay I, I did a show at uh, House of Blues. Mm-hmm. I used to pay, you know, for everybody to come out. I used to pay for it. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And by myself. And, you know, one of the dudes, you know, he was like, he didn't want my other homie to come. You know, he tried to make some calls. Like, no, he can't come. Yeah. Right I'm like, hold on, bro. You didn't, you didn't even pay for you this. You didn't pay for nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he, he called me back like, oh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to do. I don't want to do it. You yeah. know what I'm saying. You can do it with your boy. I said, all right, say no more. Right. So I took him out the flyers. Did what I did. You know what I'm saying. Next thing you know, I had just got my tooth pulled out. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying. So I'm hurting. You know them wisdom tooth teeth. Right. So I'm hurting. Jaw swollen. And then when you smoke, you know what? Yeah, it, that it, whistle. It, oh my god. <laughs> so that day I was like messed up. You mm-hmm. know, I had all. I had all the kids. You know what I'm saying. They, my, my, my little sister was up there. She was old enough to watch the kids, but right. you know, you know, I just kept an eye on them. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I was downstairs in the garage with my boy, and uh, the dude walk up. He called me like, "Hey, man, where you at?" I didn't feel like being bothered because I was, you know, yeah. tore up. Yeah. So I'm like, "Bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm gone. Whatever." He ended up walking up anyways. Boom. Right. So boom, he talking loud because yeah. everybody be at my house, you know. So he talking loud and shit to see who at my house. So boom, next thing you know, he come in here, 
man, uh, man, we gotta get in. Ooh, this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I tell <laughs> my my boy like, he he explaining it. So my boy like, B, if he if you if that if that's what happened, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta get, you should get in with him. Right. So I paused my homie and I said, hey, homie, hold on. I said, I told him, I said, I get down with you right now, bro. With a fucked up jaw and all that, I had stitches in my mouth and all that. I'll get out with you right now if you tell me what you pay for. Right, right. The principal you know, things. You know what he told me? Oh, I paid for my jacket. Oh, hell no. Nigga, get the fuck out of here, bro. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? So, my boy like, oh, yeah, hell no. You know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit. You right. Know what I said, my nigga, I pay for this shit. I did this, and that's how niggas, that's how dudes do. Right. You know, they betray you. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. So, I done did that many times with many different groups right you know what i'm saying so now i'm learning to use my own plugs for myself right because i done gave plugs out to a lot of people you know what i'm saying they they done messed over my name right you know what i'm saying so right. you know I, I just look at it like that right you know? so i feel that you know what i'm saying on standards on how, on needing your father at that time to tell you certain things on how yeah. dudes are yeah. you see what i'm saying and i can feel that and and yeah, you know what I'm saying? I can feel that, but That's as a person, like, when I was talking about it, it was, like, more, like, in my defense, I have a dude I've been with 15 years. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, I know it's going to be a little bit different for my kid. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Praying. Yeah. See, that's... That, I'm yeah. praying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because, it will. It will. you know, God willing. You know what I'm saying? Because I can leave this earth or he can leave this earth. So, we never know. You know what I'm saying? But it's just more of allowing that child to know what I'm supposed to teach him. Or right. her, you know, meaning as far as you supposed to know how to cook, clean, wash your clothes, hygiene. Well, that's that that's from that's what the uh women, you know, a, a woman has the has that part. Yeah, a woman, yeah. Ha, a, a man has the masculine. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And a woman has the feminine. Right. And that's where a lot of households be f- f- mess, yeah, up. mess up because you know what I mean? they base their shit on. Um, economic status right and it's like right. dude right you're re- you're regarding the fact that this is a man right and he's supposed to be a man and right. you're supposed to allow him to be a motherfucking right. man right and regardless right. if he makes fifty thousand to forty thousand a year right. to a hundred thousand to whatever it's just a certain statute like like he like i can just agree with kevin samuels one more time to say why can't you just accept your forty thousand or fifty thousand dollar guy you see what I'm saying for what he yeah, is. Yeah. Because if you want a certain type of statue, bitch, you gotta look a certain way. Right. You gotta talk a certain right. way. You gotta right. shut the fuck up a certain right. way. You right. gotta understand that things go a different route when you're dealing right. with these type of guys. Right. So if you're dealing with a certain guy who's who can meet you at a certain point, you guys need to come at a mutual understanding and agreement with each other. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it'll be different when it is uh communication wise. So you so nobody's feeling lesser than anybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's the key to any relationship is right. communication. Right. You know what I mean? And I think like, we learn not to I, communicate today. I feel like if somebody don't come into a relationship genuine, you know what I'm saying? It, the communication already going to be messed up. And I you think a I mean? lot of people don't come in genuine because we don't really have for real conversations or really date before we get into it we right. actually fuck first right, right. damn a, near maybe have, have, have a, a baby, baby and then be baby. like who is your mama right. what's your real right. name right you know on, what i'm saying you looking like oh my god no we didn't just do some bullshit yeah. like this but this is the generation today yeah you see what i'm saying because i remember my parents knowing each other first name last name the parents the kids oh, everything yeah, that, like yeah, that oh, you know what i'm saying it was like oh that's the williams sisters yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. they daddy mr williams and they mama whoopty whoop you know what i'm saying today we don't know each other name you know what I'm saying right you don't, you don't know, know you, what the fuck each other know, about you don't know the, what you put people the have age. you don't mm-hmm. know nothing you don't know the age motherfuckers That's, don't ask no, no questions, questions bro no questions when niggas just no. get into relationships today they yeah. just like we don't know each other but we just gonna keep going you On see what real. I'm saying like then come to find out it's like Oh hell no! I don't want her. Yeah, she, she don't take baths. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> hell no. What? 
then you, then, then she like then she, I don't she, want him His yeah. dick little Like what the she, fuck Oh bitch? this nigga wear dentures You know what I'm saying He Some ain't got no life he, yeah. her, he don't he take <laughs> She don't take baths Her hair not real If she take her face off She look like gremlin If he know You know what I'm saying If he If you really He live with his mama He Or yeah. he lived Look you seen that guy Who lived out of the uh, storage He yeah. got a bomb ass <laughs> car But he live in the storage <laughs> Like you don't know Anybody today You just accept shit <laughs> If you look the part They um, accept it They're real You know If you look the part the Right look. It's all about the visual That's why hey, I, look, You know And all them little Birkin bags That all them females Got right now Downtown mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying All that little Louis Vuitton And I've never been know? And me my personal Just being born look in the, the 80s part. Being born in the 80s Right I've never ever got hooked on that stuff because guess what? My mama and my daddy never bought that shit for me. On the real life. So how can I get hooked on something I've never ever fucking had? And I'm talking about spending yeah. how much money on this bag? Look, that's, that's what? Look, that's why that's why I never I don't I'm not a Jordan fanatic. Yeah? I oh, am. that's one thing my papa bought. I am. <laughs> See, I'm I'm not <laughs> I'm a Jordan fanatic. I'm, sorry. I'm not a Jordan fanatic. I mean I, I, I get in Jordans, but I'm not a fanatic. Yeah. We didn't get those back then. You well, know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I, well, I did. Yeah. I'm sorry. My, my, yeah. Shout out to my papa. Shout out to my mama. I'm sorry. Yeah. I loved it. I was yeah. a basketball player. Yeah, I needed we, them. We didn't get we didn't get those back then. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. We didn't get Jordans and shit. If we yeah. get them, you know. It was we, a blessing. We, yeah. 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 And that's how I feel about fast food. We used to pass so many fast food restaurants. You know, you'd be like, can we go there, mama? Can we go there, mama? Pass I mean, that shit. Pass that shit. It's food at the house. Like, damn. On the real. <laughs> but, you know, mom, mom's had the money to get it. But it was exactly. like, it was like, why? Why buy, why, why buy to a two hundred dollar pair of shoes where I when I, I can two get kids? You, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, yeah, nah. and you're a single parent. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know yeah. What I'm saying? Shout out to that. So yeah. that's that's why I use. You know, I, I can wear chucks. You know, I can wear whatever type of other shoe because it's eat. You know, it, right. it, I don't I don't, have, I don't need no J's to be like, oh yeah, this is fly. Truth. No, you know, Shit, I can, I grew up wearing fucking them. K Swiss, all Stop black. playing. <laughs> Stop <laughs> playing. <laughs> K Swiss or Nike yeah. or uh, what is it? Air Force One? Oh, no, real. You feel yeah. me? Stop playing. All black K Swiss, yes. leather black K Swiss. What you call it? You get your white shoes and you get your the black, black shoes. shoes. <laughs> 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 you feel me? And he's just play shoes. On oh, no, real. <laughs> for yeah. real, for real. Tell these people where they can find you at. Oh, uh, you can find me at uh, underscore D A B A N X, the banks. Or you can hit me on uh, my other uh, IG at hooked hookah. Um. Yeah, holla at me. Yes, if you guys ever want to get at uh, Billy the Goat, holla at him like he said once again. And we had a great show today on Chop It Up Barbershop Talk, a.k.a. Speak on the Chop It Up Barbershop Talk. And we appreciate it, you know what I mean? I hope you guys don't take anything we said offensive. We, these are our own personal opinions. And we want to, you know, just allow people to understand that opinions are just like assholes. Everybody has them and they're full of shit. Okay, Mm -hmm. and what I mean by that is you are entitled to your opinion, but at the end of the day, don't force it on anybody else. And we appreciate you guys for chopping it up with us today at Speak On It, Chop It Up Barbershop Talk. And we hope that you like, subscribe, hit that bell, become a follower. You know what I'm saying? Understand when we come back on. And we are always uh, tuned on Monday on YouTube, Spotify, a lot of different places. You know what I mean? You can look us up. Chop It Up Barbershop. Speak On It, Chop It Up Barbershop Talk. And I am your host, Annie B. And I hope you guys understand that because of your zodiac sign, it's, that's bullshit. Understand that you're all human beings and we all go through toxic situations and we all have personal issues that we have to get over in our communities. And as African Americans, we felt like back in the day and probably still today that therapy is not a good thing. But like my boy Charlemagne, what a lot of people don't really, you know, like, but I like Charlemagne. If you guys just forget the fact that, you know, therapy is not bad and get some counseling and some help, we probably can have better relationships, better open communication, you know, and we probably can actually get, uh, you know, more black on black dating. You know what I'm saying? To be honest. So we appreciate you guys for chopping it up with us at Speak On It, Chopping It Barbershop Talk. Tap in to this week. And once again, follow my boy, Billy the Goat. And uh, do you have anything to tell these people? Uh, Yeah. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
this is a mo- little motivational little speech I'm gonna do, you know. But mm-hmm. um, you know, watch all the haters. You know what I'm saying? Uh, watch your haters. You know the snakes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just watch, watch, watch your watch your back, watch your surroundings. You know you you got snakes that are crawling the cr- in the cut grass. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and uh, twist you up. You know, right. wrap around you. You know what I mean? Won't let you go. Uh, pull you down. You know, don't let nobody pull you down. Don't let nobody stop your shine. Um, keep, you know, keep smiling. You know what I'm saying? There you go. And that's that's how I feel. You know, just keep smiling because, you know, your smile gon is, is gonna carry you far. You yes. know, your smile gonna carry you far. You know, a, a angry face. You know what I'm saying? That people gonna run away from you. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Take 46 muscles yeah. to frown yeah. and then 23 muscles to smile. You know what I mean? Stop so playing, y'all. You better smile. You, you know, feel me? So. We gonna put that Tupac on for y'all. Nah, just playing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Check out this one more time. Um, it is called Tell Him Again, Speedway by my boy Billy the Goat and we'll see you guys next time on Chop It Up and we'll speak on it. Chop It Up Barbershop Talk. Yes, follow me at www.whatsyourfade.com or follow me on Chop It Up Barbershop Talk on Instagram or What's Your Fade on Instagram or all platforms. I'll see you guys next week and thank you again for coming on and speak on it. Chop It Up Barbershop Talk. We'll see you guys. Speedway, pedal to the flow. You know you can't see me. Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Prada, and Fendi. A lot of people mad cause their pockets on empty. Yeah, catch me on the speedway, pedal to the flow. You know you can't see me.